Aerofan624 says, how do you feel about the direction of the program under Freeman as today? Good, good question. I know you've had some thoughts on this in the past. Where do you stand uh, on this? What, after? what are your thoughts, Mike? What are your thoughts? I think this is a, this is the big year. It's a big year. It's Freeman's third year in the program. Here we go. Mike, buckle up. You're 55 minutes in. I got you for at least another 10 with this question. Go ahead. Go ahead. It's a big year. I'm listening. Dude, it's just a big year for him. Like, I, I, all right, you had your, your season where you had some bad home losses. Like, this year, like, put people I talked to think that Notre Dame can go and, and win a playoff game. So, I don't know, man. Like, if, if they go, like, if they have an eight win regular season this year, it's not looking good. So, I, I feel like the program's kind of on a steady line. I don't think it can go upward. I, a lot of it will depend on these hires, but you can't really judge them until you actually get on the field. So it's just kind of stock steady for me right now. Hard to really tell until they get out on the field. Um, but yeah, it's just it's either going to go this way or this way this season, in my opinion. Hmm. So you said if they yeah if they win eight games not good but not good and I want to not to be too specific but like does that mean I think you could be on the hot seat man okay right I mean he has Sam Hartman as his quarterback and Tyler Buckner as QB two who Buckner might be the best quarterback in the country um you know really if we're gonna get you know get no, Hartman is good Hartman oh no that's you heard it man he's the best the top no, five Buckner. is Buckner's the best. <laughs> Um, so what do I think of the state of the program? I think it's go. I think the the trajectory, program. I think that, yeah, the direction of the program is going up. Okay. Based off of recruiting. I don't think that 2023 is the year for anything. I think if we go win nine, 10 games, great. I think the crescendo based off of the, the talent, like the Prince Kelly's, the Jalen Sneeds of the world. I think if you can get, uh, Blake Fisher back and maybe slide him over to left tackle for another year. If you, I think 2024 is the year for me where we really take that next, that big leap as a program. That's how I feel. And so I do feel like that the arrow and the trajectory is pointing up based off the talent that's coming in. Like this 23 team, like where are the gaping holes? You got the quarterback. It's an ex, it's an outstanding stable of running backs. The receivers, you had some good young guys. They're getting older. So that's a hole. Receiver is a hole. If you're asking me, and your defensive line is a gaping hole, your safeties are. We know we got good corners. We know we've got a good offensive line. Then you've got Sam Harton, who's played a lot of football. So, like, if I was going to make an argument to play Tyler, <laughs> you play Tyler 2023 in lieu of 2024. And if he does get hurt or whatever, it's like, okay, then you got Hartman on the bench. That's the way it should be looked at versus like 2023, we're not going to win boo, you know? And so, so, but then, and then you're still going to try and be developing Tyler in 2024. He'll be getting his what fourth or fifth start, right? That's that, my argument. That I, I remember playing NCAA, you know, the, the video game, you know, when I was younger and when that game was still around, and I would do the same thing. It's like, all right, my freshman QB has a 78 overall, but my junior QB is like an 83. I mean, my junior QB is better right now, but I'm gonna play the freshman so I can get his overall and his stats bumped up and break all these records with them. It's good for a video game, but I don't know if for the one year for 2023, if that's the best thing. Well, both things can't be true. So, like, if you have Hartman, there's no way we're going to win eight games, right? Or win only eight games, right? I would hope not. Right? I would, yeah. I would hope. Then what are we worried about? You know what I'm saying? I don't think 2023 is the year, but yes, and you asked me where our holes our defensive line isn't where, and Tim, Tim is in complete agreement with me here. Our defensive line in its current state is nowhere near, especially like interior wise. 
Yeah. Like you're three in your nose, nowhere near being a national championship. Um, just, just from a size perspective, like that Justin Scott, the kid in Chicago, his film doesn't blow me away, but I do absolutely see the physical potential there with the movement skills and just his size. So that's a, and wide receiver is a huge glaring, huge hole to me. You know, oh, I think so I, like I said, I, I just think that 2023, you got to give Freeman a longer leash. You know, the blue chip rating, you know, the composite blue chip thing, like all that stuff is trending up. And you, you, you just think you need to get like a stud household name at the quarterback position that becomes a first round pick. He's in the Heisman conversation. I mean, that's what these elite programs are, dude. It's no different than the NFL. I'm not as worried about receiver, especially if Hartman is the savior that most of us hope he is because he can, you know, he can help those guys. You know, I mean, good quarterback helps there. But, um, yeah. Well, why wouldn't you play Tyler with, with this, with next year's offensive line? I mean, you got two All American tackles. You know what I'm saying? So then you're going to throw Tyler back out there the next year or whomever it is, you know, whoever it could be Minchie with potentially two brand new tackles, you know? I mean, I can make a case either way. I'm not as worried much about worried as much about 2024. I know the coaches like have to have a total focus on 23, but they also have to look in advance. I, I don't know. It's tough. 